क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर ऑन फॉरेस्ट एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ रिसोर्सेस दिस इज द्वेश्चन ऑफ एनसीआर टी फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड क्वेश्चन विच इज द मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन सो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इट इन द एम सी क्यूज ऑल्सो बट बिकॉज इज द क्वेश्चन ऑफ द एनसीआर टी विच ऑफ दीज स्टेटमेंट विच ऑफ दीज स्टेटमेंट इज नॉट अ वैलिड रीजन नॉट अ वैलिड रीजन फॉर डिप्लीशन ऑफ फ्लोरा एंड फोना so the answer here is grazing and fuel wood this answer is grazing and fuel wood co collection so uh, the agriculture expansion is really a main cause of depletion of flora and fauna same is the big projects large scale development projects and then rapid industrialization and urbanization because these three they are responsible for a big chunk of depletion of flora and fauna but if you talk about grazing small grazing and fuel wood collection that if this is tree then mostly the you know the you can say sticks or the branches when they fall down then they may be grazed or they may be taken as fuel wood collection so it doesn't count so much for the depletion of flora and fauna fifth is which of the following conservation strategies do not directly involve community uh, participation and the answer is the demarcation of wildlife sanctuaries now let me explain you this that whenever there is a region okay there is a community living here there are people samudaya people samudaya samaj is living here but what happens is that when we combine the the policies of the government along with the community then the things goes well that is joint forest management uh, be these beej bachao andolan chipko andolan all these were there but when you talk about uh, strategies do not directly involve community participation so the demarcation when you demark an area if this is the demarcation of a certain area which is a wildlife sanctuary it doesn't involve community participation so we'll go with this d1 here we went with c what is biodiversity why is biodiversity important for human lives so first we need to understand this word bio bio means what biology what we what we learn in biology we learn about plants we learn about animals we learn about any size of plants and animals right so when we talk about bio we are talking about all the flora and fauna and their in interdependency and when we talk about diversity different type of plants just different species of plant different genetics of plants same is the uh, you know logic with the animals as far as diversity is concerned there are so diverse things which are available and they are wanted for the earth to exist so why is this biodiversity important for human lives so biodiversity is the degree of variation change you know different types of life forms within a given ecosystem or an entire planet so there are millions of living of living organisms of different size shapes on planet earth and all these living organisms including the man human being they are independent interdependent interrelated to each other in one or this other way 90% of our requirement of roti kapda makan that is food shelter and um, anything which you talk about mostly they come from the biodiversity plants and animals that is why it's very important for human lives how have human activities affected the depletion of flora and fauna explain so what we are doing is we are cutting down the forests for agriculture expansion for large development projects because development is needed we need large projects large scale development projects what we are doing we are depleting flora and fauna then grazing and this i must add one more word overgrazing overgrazing and fuel wood collection and for urbanization this has these are all very big topics and this these all happening together and in tandem has led to the depletion of flora and fauna describe how communities have conserved and protected forests and wildlife in india 
So in India, various communities, traditionally, traditional communities, they still live in forest or live nearby. Or you can say they are dependent as far as their livelihood or eating or living is concerned for forest produce or forest products. So these communities, they are working hand in hand with the government also. That is, communities plus government, they are trying to conserve the forest. Let us take the example of Sariska Tiger Reserve in Rajasthan. Villagers fought against the mining activities and they were quite successful. When we go to Alwar, this is the district of Rajasthan, the local communities belonging to five villages, they have set their own rules. They have oh, their own rules and regulation in 1200 acres of LADC, hectares of land, forest land. And they actually named it called Bhairav Dev Dakav Sanctuary. Hunting is not allowed in this place, in this land. And also any outside encroachment or entry for doing any kind of hunting activity is strictly prohibited. And now these village people, they take care of this. Coming to Uttarakhand area, the famous Chipko Andolan, it was started in Himalayan region to stop deforestation. You know, you can say it was just trees being, being cut without any authorities also people were cutting it. So in order to stop deforestation, this Chipko Andolan, people used to grab the tree and they would stand, you know, and they would not allow anyone to cut the tree, especially women. So people belonging to the local community took to a forestation that is forestation and deforestation. One more word, a forestation that is putting up of the forest, growing up the forest in a big way. So indigenous species, those called as deshaj or endemic, they are cultivated and protected. And this involve local communities in protecting the government, the environment and stopping the degradation of forest that has reaped the benefits which we see. Write a note on good practices towards uh, conserving forest and wildlife. In 1972, Indian Life, uh, Wildlife Protection Act, it was being implemented. And this law has various rules. It made protecting specific habitats a law, a proper law, kanun, a list of wildlife species that had to be protected that are on the verge of extinction are published and hunting of these animals were against the law. Anyone doing this will be prosecuted under this 1972 law. So national parks and wildlife sanctuaries were set up in many states to protect endangered species, those species which are on the verge of their extinction. And under the Wildlife Act after that, this 1972 was one act, then we have Wildlife Act, 1980 and 1986, several insects also, very small, small microorganisms, insects, they have been included in the list of protected species. We consider big mammals, big, pea, big, big uh, plants, trees, but what about insects? So it was also being included in the protected species, like the butterflies, moths, beetles, dragonflies and even certain plants, they are protected in this protected list. There was a, there is, not was, it is a project tiger, though it was initiated in 1973, when the tiger were 55,000 and they just, we just left with 1827. And then it started here all by the government of India to protect the tigers because tigers are highest up Tigers, lion, all these are uh, leopards. They are highest on the food chain. So they keep a check on the different herbivore uh, animals and they, they complete the food chain. So they are the most important part of the biodiversity, the ecosystem and the food chain. So it is one of the most, most well publicized wildlife campaigns in the world. Now we have, I'm talking about 2019, 50, 50 tiger reserves in India. Now we are taking the MCQs. 
multiple choice questions. Which one of the following is not considered a sacred tree in India? The answer is neem. Because people, they, they actually, you know, somewhere, uh, we don't know, neem can be somewhere in Indian, any part. It can be sacred tree. But we have all the ideas and information about pe people, banyan and mango tree being the sacred tree. So we'll go with B. What was the aim of Chipko Andolan? So the aim of Chipko Andolan was forest conservation because the government and the people who, are not, who were not having authority like the contractors, they were just cutting tree. And what, what the community or the people living there, they did, they just grabbed the tree. They stood here and they said, come, if you want to cut the tree, you have to cut us. And this was Chipko Andolan, Chipko movement. This was for forest conservation. Which one of the following is an example of endemic species? Endemic means that only grows or happens or is present in a particular area or it is traditional there. It is called Deshaj species. So the answer is Nicobar pigeon. Now the name only suggests that this kind of pigeon is only found in Nicobar. You will not find it anywhere else. This is NCRT question. This if you see in the question answers of NCRT questions. Which and one of these statements is not valid reason for the depletion of flora and fauna? And the answer is wrap this uh, C. Grazing and fuel wood collection. Because all these, apart from this, they are responsible for a wide range depletion of flora and fauna. Next, which, which, which of the following conservation strategies do not directly involve community participation? This involves demarcation of wildlife sanctuaries. That is, if you demarcate a particular area that does not, doesn't involve community participation, while the joint forest movement, beach, beach, beach bachao andolan and chipko andolan or chipko movement, they are all the movement involving the communities. The total forest cover in the country is about, the answer is around, uh, you know, it, it depends on the year which is being asked. See, in 6061, it was 18, then it became in 2008, 2009, it became 22.1%. So just take, we'll just take an average of that and we'll try to answer it like this. It is C, okay. So it depends on the year which we are talking about. But it was never 11.5 that this we just we can disregard. So 19.3 is the answer you can take. Most of the forests in the northeastern states belong to the category of the answer is unclassed forest. Unclassed forest. Endemic species refers to, and these are the species which are confined to specific areas only. We just talked about the Pigeon, which is found only in Nicobar, and it is named as Nicobar pigeon. So it will be only found in Nicobar, not even in Andaman. You will not find it even in the Andaman. So it's Nicobar pigeon. That is why the species which are confined to a specific areas, they are endemic species. Perrier Tiger Reserve is located in very famous tiger reserve, and the answer is it's Kerala. Chipko movement is a program started towards conservation of, it is forests. We discussed about this a lot. So we'll go to the next one. IUCN, IUCN, this refers to what? And the answer is International Union of Conservation of Natural, Nature and Natural Resources. So. Uh, you know, you'll be tempted to answer it like for this one or any of these, but actually it's International Union of Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources. Forests play a key role in the ecological system because the answer is they are the primary producers on which all other living things depend. That is why they are the key player in the ecological system. The area of forest covered or converted into agriculture land between these 30 years, 1915 to 1980, and the answer is 
26,200 square kilometer. This is the answer. The Baksa Tiger Reserve in West Bengal has been threatened about the loss of habitat of many species. Due to what? The answer is due to mining activities. Mining activities. Which group of people in India are responsible for maximum ecological destruction? The answer is richest 5% of the people. And they don't, you know, in the chapter it is given that they also don't take responsibly, responsibility to replenish it, to do something to save it, to conserve it. Indian Wildlife Protection Act was implemented mainly to protect the remaining population of certain endangered species because when the people came to know the environmentalists and everyone that these species are certain species like the cheetah and the you know pink head duck they have already extinct they have already gone so now those who are on the verge of going need to be protected this is what is the answer 17th the hunting and trade of which animals have been given full or partial legal protection in India? The answer is Indian lion. Indian lion. Okay. Uh, this is full and partial legal protection, but if you see, in, these all also have the uh, this protection, but the main is Indian lion. In India, forest and wildlife resources are owned and managed by who? The answer is the government. It is owned and managed by the government. Reserve forest refers to, the name itself suggests that it is a reserve forest. That means, the answer is, forest meant for their valuable timber and other forest produce. Is it that? Or forest protected from further depletion? Or conservation of some species, conservation of animals. So, reserve forest, because we are talking about forest, so we have trees, etc. here, very important. So, forest meant for their valuable timber and other forest produce. This is the answer. The forest belonging, because you know, if you talk about for the reserve forest, uh, these forests which are protected from further depletion, this can be this can be an answer. But when we talk about their uh, valuable timber and other forest produce, they are the main cause of depletion. That is why they are being reserved. The forests belonging to both government and private individual and communities are called. The answer is unclassed uh, forest. Unclassed forest. It can belong to any private individuals also. The Mundas and the Santhals of Chota Nagpur region worship which one of the following trees? The answer is Mahua, Mahua tree. Which one of the following is a farmer's movement initiated in Tihri? Tihri, it's in Uttarakhand. Tihri, you might have heard about the Tihri dam project also. The answer is Bij Bachao Andolan, Bij Bachao Andolan. The main objective of Joint Forest Management Program is, the answer is, Involving local communities in the management and restoration of degradation forests. So joint means government plus the local community. So A is the answer. What is the name given to the forest of God and goddesses? The answer is sacred, sacred groves. Which one of the following statement is not true with regard to depletion of flora and fauna? Land required for housing. So agriculture is responsible, mining activity, shifting agriculture, slash and burn, the zoom type of agriculture, they are highly responsible. But the land required for housing it may not be such a big issue here. Uh, which, of, which one of the, this is an issue, I'm not saying, I'm not denying it, but still if you compare it with these three, it's not. Which one of the following is not a reason for environmental destruction? And the answer is global warming. This one of the following is not a reason for environmental disc which one of the following is not a reason for environmental destruction so we can say that we have to talk about not a reason so reasons are see unequal access overpopulation inequit inequitable consumption of resources these are all these are all the, the the reason for environmental destruction but we have been asked about not a reason 
right? Global warming. Global warming is the after effect when you destroy the, the environment. The biological loss is strongly correlated with the loss of cultural diversity because the answer is all of the above. It has impoverished many indigenous and forest dependent communities. It has caused serious health problems for the women and it has aggravated many natural hazards that affected the poor. Which Wildlife Protection Act has included for the first time the list of protected species of plant? And the answer here is Wildlife Protection Act of 1991, protected species of plants. What is the position of uh, India in the world in terms of biodiversity? The answer is 12th. We are 12th in this. The present forest cover of India in terms of total geographical area is, again the same question has come. So we have to see which is the best one we can answer. The answer is 19.39%. In which of the following state has the joint forest management started? And the answer here is Odisha. Odisha. Flora refers to the kingdom. Which kingdom? It has this word has you can relate it with the flowers. So flowers. So the answer here will be what? It will be plant kingdom. Immensely rich in wildlife and cultivated species, diverse in form and function, but closely integrated in a system is called what? This is actually a definition of biodiversity. The total number of plant species in India is, it's 47,000. The total number of animal species in India is, it's 81,000. Species which are in danger of extinction are called as its endangered species. Species which are no longer found on the earth, these are called as, which are already vanished, and they are extinct, already finished. Which one of the river valley projects has significantly contributed to the loss of forest? The answer goes, Narmada Sagar, Narmada Sagar. Which state of India has the maximum area under reserved forest? The answer is Madhya Pradesh MP. 75% of the area is under, the forest area is under reserved forest. The state having highest percentage of for protected forests is, it is Punjab. The state having highest percentage of protected forests is Punjab. Then the Project Tiger was launched in the year, it is 1973. 1973 is the answer. In which of the following states is the Corbett National Park? It's in Uttarakhand. You, you can just change the name. It's now Uttarakhand. So, Jim Corbett National Park near Haridwar. It is in Uttarakhand. So, here is the key for multiple choice questions. If you happen to go back and try to, you know, do it again. So this is the key for that.